Pixel Pro! This is the one. Hello everyone, this is Pixel Pro Audio's Unfiltered. Welcome around the drum, I am Tay, and with me is a special guest, Ben. Ben has been interning with us this fall. We kind of let him loose to test 10 different microphones, and he'll give us his favorites shortly. But first, Ben, welcome to our video series, and uh, tell us a little bit about yourself first. Uh, well, like you said, my name is Ben. Uh, I'm from Oshkosh, which is right in the area, yeah. and I'm a student at UW Oshkosh right now, and I'll be graduating this semester as soon as I'm done with my internship here. Um, yeah, on top of that, I'm in a band from Oshkosh called Tiny Voices. What was we that? put out. I'm in a band Tiny. called Tiny Voices. <laughs> yeah, we put out an EP earlier this year in October. Uh, you can listen to it everywhere, and yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. Cool, like on like YouTube, Spotify, like yep, Spotify, cassette tapes. YouTube. We don't have cassette oh. tapes, but we are getting it pressed on vinyl. Okay, that's good. Yeah, good, so good. if you want one of those, they might still be available on thumbsuprecords.com. All right. Well, here at Pixel Pro Audio, uh, we often bring in uh, interns from our partnership over at UW Oshkosh. So uh, thank you, Ben, for doing this with us. And uh, we usually give our interns a lot of things to do, try to dip their toes in a lot of different things uh, around the shop. Um, so we t uh, tasked you with what? Uh, well, one of the things I got to do was test out a bunch of different microphones. Uh, this list I did 10. Um, most of the microphones I'd never seen or used before, so that was really cool. I got to learn a lot about a couple of new mics, a couple of different type of microphones, and yeah. it was just a really interesting eye-open experience, especially for a vocalist. And this was for an article you did, mm -hmm. and that article is posted on our website, and we'll put a, I'll put a link, like, I think up there, but otherwise it'll be in the comments too, so go check that out. I wanted to test out these 10 microphones to see how some of them sounded on my voice. Uh, the one I started with was the Blue Microphones Bluebird. Uh, then I te also texted an MXL 990, a Rode NTK, an Audio-Technica BP40, the AKG C1000S, SE Electronics X1S, the Aston Stealth, the CAD E102. SE Electronics V7, and the Shure SM7B. Awesome, Ben. Uh, so after going through all these microphones, uh, tell me your top three favorites. Yeah, there was a couple of the mics that really stuck out to me a lot. Uh, the first one is the MXL 990. Okay. Uh, then the SE V7, and then also the SM7B. Okay, nice, Probably my nice. Favorites. Um, well, let's, let's hear you do some tests on them. And uh, we'll, we'll have you speak, and we'll have you scream, and we'll have you sing. So here's Ben with the MXL 990. The bark of the pine tree was shiny and dark. Leaves turned brown and yellow in the fall. The pennant waved when the wind blew. Split the log with a quick, sharp blow. The bark of the pine tree was shiny and dark. Leaves turn brown in the fall. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Awesome, Ben. The MXL 990 has been around for a very long time. They haven't really changed much about it. Uh, a lot of people know exactly what it sounds like and what its capabilities are. So tell me what you thought about it. Yeah, I want to start off by saying this is a, a large diaphragm condenser mic, which is one of the most commonly used mics for vocal recordings because it captures all like the detail of your voice really yeah. well. It makes it sound really good and natural. Uh, and this mic does an awesome job of that. And my personal favorite part about it, the price point, this thing's only like a hundred bucks, <laughs> yeah. which is a lot cheaper than some of the other industry standard condensers out there. Uh, and it has a really comparable sound. Um, yeah, this sounded great on my voice. It sounds great on a lot of other people's voice, and it's definitely a good one for you to check out. Yeah. Uh, up next, I'm going to be testing out the SE Electronics V7. The bark of the pine tree was shiny and dark. Leaves turned brown and yellow in the fall. The pennant waved when the wind blew. 
split the log with a quick, sharp blow. The bark of the pine tree was shiny and dark. Leaves turned brown in the fall. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Uh, so yeah, that was the V7. Uh, this is a handheld dynamic microphone manufactured by SE Electronics. Uh, this microphone does a really good job capturing the tone of your voice accurately, more so than a lot of the other dynamic handhelds in its price range. Uh, a lot of them kind of leave this blanket over the tone of your voice that can cover up some of the nuance and detail of it, but this guy does a really good job making my voice sound awesome, uh, which is why I personally wanted it for my live performances, and I'm really happy with it. I've used it a bunch already. So you got one yourself? I bought one myself, yeah. I, I tested this up against the SM58, because that's what I used to use with my band, okay. and I could not have been happier with the results. This blew it out of the water pretty much for about the same price. You yeah. get a lot better sound quality. Um, yeah. Yeah, awesome. Well, what's up next? Uh, up next is a classic, the SM7B. <laughs> the bark of the pine tree was shiny and dark. Leaves turned brown and yellow in the fall. The pennant waved when the wind blew. Split the log with a quick, sharp blow. The bark of the pine trees was shiny and dark. Leaves turned brown in the fall. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. That was the SM7B by Shure. Uh, we use them here on the show. Uh, it's the classic uh, dynamic microphone that everybody knows and loves. So, Ben, what did you think of it? I love this mic. I've always loved this mic. Yeah. I've used this is one of the few ones that I tested that I have used before, so I was familiar with the sound, and okay. I actually own one myself. But this is probably my favorite mic of all time, just because of the way it sounds on my voice. Mm -hmm. uh, it picks up a really, really good mid to low register, which I've got. Yes. A lot of low yeah. register going yeah. on, so this yeah, this mic too. really shines on my voice, uh, <laughs> and and a lot of other people's as well. Um, yeah. So in the test, we didn't put it on a cloud lifter mm -hmm. because we wanted to kind of give it the raw sound um, as you would if if someone had brought it home. Um, but during this show, we have hours on a cloud lifter, mm -hmm. so we could you know boost the signal a little bit. Um, so I didn't have to do so much post work, but uh, so that's a caveat that that's, you know, is a, an entry level, you know, hurdle you have to do when you get this microphone is you either have to have the preamp that's able to get the, you know, the output gain, or you have to get yourself a cloud lifter or something like it that boosts the signal uh, so you can get that line level up. But um, do you have one at home, a cloud lifter? I do. You do? Yes. Yeah, okay. another note where it's important to do your research because I did not have one when I bought the 7B. <laughs> yeah, right. I found out pretty quickly that my 2i2 could not handle the gain setting that this mic needed. So nice. I picked up a cloud lifter after one of my professors recommended it to awesome. me. Uh, yeah, I just want to leave it on the note and remind everyone that even though these are my favorite mics, they might not be and probably won't be your favorite mics. Uh, Every vocalist's instrument is completely different, so it's important to go out and do your own research. And articles like the one in the link below and videos like this can help you do that. But yeah, it's again, go out and do your own research, build your own knowledge, and figure out what mic works best for your voice. I'm really glad you got a chance to test these microphones out, Ben, and thank you for coming on this video and uh, sharing what your experience was and uh, kind of telling us your favorite microphones. Yeah, well, thanks for having me. It was a great time, uh, an awesome experience. I, I, I love microphones and I love singing, so testing these was a great time, a great experience. Uh, and I learned a lot about microphones. Um, and I mean, I can help other people learn stuff about microphones too. Yeah. And I would love to learn more about microphones that you like. Uh, leave a comment down below. What was your favorite microphone uh, on or off of this list? Yeah. Yeah, and if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. That would be awesome. Uh, we thank all of you for watching, and we will see you around the drum next time. This 
microphone stand is slowly going down. <laughs> I don't have time for this right now. Yeah. I don't know, you could like... I'm gonna keep my eye on you. <laughs> cool, Ben. Awesome. Uh, and maybe using one when I live performed with my band. Listen, kids. You have to go out there <laughs> and find your own microphone. Mm -hmm. Don't give up. I might ask you those questions. There you go. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, oh, you want, oh, the thing, the shtick, the, the, <laughs> the shtick gimmick.